News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali. And a jolly good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Clambo. And on a rather wet day, but nothing wet about this conversation though, uh, we have to discuss the uh, leadership crisis at uh, one of Sri Lanka's oldest uh, political parties uh, and a party whose leadership is responsible for many of the great things that have been achieved in this country. To discuss that is none other than Mr. Maitri Gunaratna. Very good morning to morning, you, Mr. Morning, Gunaratna. morning for us. And even though you've left the party because uh, they sort of got rid of you, you must still have some loyalty. It's a bit like going to school, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, why we joined the UNP was because we... I personally uh, liked it, liked its policies, and it's a party. I still say, which has done a lot of work for the poorest of the poor in this country. Yeah, and it is a party which can do very, very much more. And uh, why we uh, agitated against the leadership was because uh, the UNP rank and file, the country, the villages never got a fair deal under Mr. Anil Vikramasinghe after he became the UNP leader. Mm -hmm. So, these were the reasons we started agitating in the UNP from 2010 and uh, thereafter anyone who agitates or anyone who goes against him, he sees, sees to it that they are thrown out of the party. No, he so doesn't. Uh, there, is no, there is no way that uh, any kind of, uh, you know, constructive criticism is encouraged. Oh, I see. So, there is, so that's, that's why you can see for us, everyone is taking it without any without a murmur now uh, these appointments which have been made yesterday hmm. now i know he wanted to make akilaviraj karyavasam the general secretary of the unp maybe one and a half years ago right but when, whenever the proposition came there was a little opposition there mm -hmm. and uh, he somehow took it back and i think even kabir was not all that happy for him being removed right but with the debacle uh, of the local government election, yes. I mean, I don't think anyone wants to, wanted to stay there and and uh, take the burden of uh, you know the or the wrath of the people mm. against the party leadership and all and the and the, and the office bearers. Mm. So, in all fairness, in all fairness to Kabir, uh, he tendered his resignation, yes. which is which is which is a done thing. Yeah. So what what what, what is the it's one of the highest uh, things of uh, uh, democracy. democracy. No, no. So why can't Ranil Vikramasinghe attender his resignation and get himself reappointed? Yeah. Now, if he tenders his resignation yeah. and if they reappoint him for us, that's a different story. Yeah. But his actions are always anything other than tendering the resignation. Now, if if I think if there's a replay of the program we did maybe one month or one and a half after the after the uh, after the elec election debacle. Yes. Right. I, I, I think I told on, on, on this program and many other programs, yeah. nothing will change. Right. The only thing which, which will change is the, uh, uh, the, the general secretary will be chairman, chairman will be general secretary, few cosmetic changes like that, but the leadership will remain. So that, right. has, been, that has been proven time and time again as correct. So right. now it is the time for senior UN peers like Mr. Sajid Premadasa, Mr. Ranjit Madhum Bandara, uh, and so and so Mr. Imtiyas Baki yeah. for them to, uh, if they are going to accept it, if they are going to the working committee and going to work work according to what Mr. Anil Vikram Singh wants and what he wants, uh, uh, his wishes and fa fa uh, wishes, yeah. then I mean, God help the UNP. There is, there is no way that this party can be revived. No. <laughs> Um, uh, Mr. Gurana, Mr. Vikramasinghe, uh, you know, I hear you say that, and I hear many, many people say that, but at the end of the day, he's been in Parliament for 41 years, Yes. and he's been in the United National Party, this will be the, his 24th year, Yes. so yes. he's been the leader. Yes. How come, in spite of everything that you're saying and some others are saying, he's still the leader? No, he, the point what qualities? Is, uh, the, no, no, point, the point is this, you know, for us, under the UNP constitution, it is the working committee which is the most powerful body. Yeah. So, Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe appoints his 
what you call catchers yeah right or people who are extremely loyal to him yes to the working committee and where he is he is convinced that they are they are him. they are loyal to him who makes that decision he makes the decision right right now now even even this he doesn't leave it to malik or no, sabal no, or anybody no, else no no malik and all will be able to do the picking from uh, from their association from the crop, yeah. yeah from their association with various fellows they will say okay put him he's loyal to us uh, that that kind of uh, suggestions can be made to him and he will appoint them yeah but once appointed it is the working committee which decides who the leader is going to be right so he appoints the working committee the working committee appoints him right. so if he comes to the working committee and says tomorrow that i want to make uh, uh, akhil viraj karyavasam the the general secretary i mean so it's almost a rubber stamp it's it's a just a rubber stamp it's a absolute rubber stamp nothing else and and in the good old days uh, people from the districts from the trade unions they were taken in and there was a bit of a democratic process there mm. there was the noise and chaos of democracy discussed in the working committee because that is why for us in the last maybe 20 24 years the people have identified the unp as not a people oriented party because that clash of ideas yeah in the in the unp did not take place because they were all uh, this royal college types who were put to the working committee so they lost their feel at the they, grassroots they completely lost their feel. that's why the unp has been losing consecutively right and that is the very fight we took into the unp and we said that this cannot go on like this you know on a scale of 1 to 100 if you look back now at the mass appeal of rana singh premadasa mm-hmm. and if you look at that appeal that the unp people had for him mm. and the appeal the same question but for rani wickremesinghe on a scale of 1 to 100 and if mr premadas was a mr premadas would have had 80 yeah i don't think rani will have even 20 really yes that's and so the, what what was the magic that Pre- rani singh premadas had no he was he did he worked for the poorest of the poor in this country even even mr jr jayawat the poorest of the poor in the country even mr ds ranayaka poorest of the poor in the country you take mr ds ranayaka he developed all the agricultural villages uh, the the, uh, the resettlement schemes and and uh, people got land people got uh, housing people got roads people got schools so now if you see for us uh, for the last maybe 30 years for the last 30 years there hasn't been a major housing project which has come across if you if you you won't believe me there are houses in colombo uh, i mean the the, the 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 less fortunate people who live in colombo who are living in 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 the watters or maybe going into the various flats which were built during the last regime yeah there are two to three families living in a flat or in a house so how do you how do you how do they get new housing because with today's construction costs yeah you can't go a, a person who is doing a day to day job can't build a house yeah so what happens is what happened was in the in the in the times the unp leaders were running the country they started colonization scheme they took people out right so then you relieve those households with, of the two three f- f- generations living in those houses yeah. nothing of that sort has happened for the last 30 years nothing of that sort has happened and 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 we have seen much more money coming into the country in in the form of foreign investment all that right and still this country is not fortunate enough even to get a free gift hmm. that that is what we have come to but Now, even when they do get a free gift no, they don't accept it they don't no, want it exactly because the the housing scheme in akarai patu yeah. uh, which is a 15 million us dollar outright gift from by the king of saudi arabia to the people of sri lanka yeah. uh, was engulfed in some controversy yeah. and thanks to sarat silver's judgment uh, they 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 couldn't allocate the houses and they tried to blame it on the saudis saying that they had a uh, a condition that it was only for muslims yeah. which is all rubbish there is no such condition i i've examined that document myself yeah. and it is today a monumental uh, a monument 
to the uh, incapability of government in Sri Lanka. Precisely. No, for us, that is one instance. Now, there, are, there were many people who wanted to start LNG power plants in Sri Lanka. Yeah. There were many people who wanted to start, a, start solar parks in Sri Lanka. And w what they wanted was only a guarantee that the government will buy it back. So, the government spends no money at all to put, up, put it up. This government is unable to accept that. What more than that? They want to go in for tender procedure. They want to go through the whole the mill. Why? Why? If it is coming free, there is no commissions involved. So, it is not acceptable. Right? So, this is the sorry state of, the, of affairs. I have seen this. I have seen this. People have come and offered to put up massive plants in, in Putlam, in Hambandota, in, uh, in Mano, in Jaffna, and, and, and in, in those areas for us, uh, 360 days of the year. There is scorching sun. Yeah. Scorching sun. And the ideal places for, uh, for solar parks. Indeed. All they are, all they are asking is give us the uh, the. the no, so why 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 do you, in, uh, why I'm digressing slightly from the leadership crisis? But why do you think that in this government, in this government so committed to the cause of uh, and the benefits of capitalism and so on? Well, how come there is no? Uh, why haven't they been able to take this economy forward? Uh, they, they, uh, I just want to no, let you I, know on a figure. I, 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 our, 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 our national debt has actually increased. This government has been in power for just under a thousand days yeah. from the parliamentary. Yeah. Forget the hundred first so called hundred days and all that, which yeah. wasn't hundred days. But anyway, they've been in power for just under a thousand days, around 990. Yeah. Now then, the public debt, our national total debt, foreign and local, total is 3,000 billion rupees more than it was in January 2015. Mm. In this period, the, 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 what they inherited was 7.2 trillion, which is 7,200 billion. Mm. And today, as of the 6th of April, 2018, if you look up the central bank's figures on the uh, economic figures there, it's all there, section 3.2, it's all there. It's now 10.2 trillion. It's a, a, just a touch or, uh, under 3 trillion. Mm. Now then, if you divide one by the other, 1,000 days in power, it is costing the people of this country an extra 3 billion rupees per day that they've been in government. That is the figure. It is three billion. And w later on in the day, we perhaps we'll get an economist to, to expand on that. But the Prime Minister has keep, he and his government keep going on that they are paying, repaying debt. They're not. Well, they they're may not, be. They're borrowing they're, more and more. No, they're borrowing to pay the debt. Exactly. But, borrowing, but, but where is the development project? No, where no where are the new projects? They, I, I can't see now, for instance, with, with all Fun and fancy, they went and started this Volkswagen. It was ultimately a total hoax. It was a hoax. It was right? a hoax wagon. Uh, yeah. So now, now that is the, then, and what they, what they, what they told the whole country is that this is going to change the destiny of the of the country. Yes. Right. So what happened? Now that's a, that's a total. That's a total. Uh, you know, uh, you, no one talks about it today. Yeah. So all or most of the development projects, right, is all a hoax, right, and it is. It is actually, uh, for us, it is only a few individual companies, maybe some listed stock companies, telephone companies, which are bringing a lot of money and investing on their own. Right. Whether this government or any government, yeah. they would have done that. Mm -hmm. So, this government has not bought any kind of foreign investment and there is no conditions conducive, conducive for foreign investment. Now, take for instance tourism. What has happened to tourism? Two blows within two months one in candy Indeed. the government couldn't control it yeah. for, seven, for for almost 10 to for two weeks they couldn't control the issue in candy yeah. then the minister incident yes now that is doing the rounds all over the world Indeed. so i mean what i mean what is this government talking about at least for us 
the Rajapaksas were able to finish the war and bring in a condition where the country is the most safe place, the safest place in the in the in the world. This this country. Yeah. But today, by the by with the incident of the Mirissa, uh, where the tourists were, mm. at the, 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 the people were attacked. Yeah. Right. That that notion is also gone. Right. So the, what 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 this government is doing is they are making a a, a, a bad situation worse mm. by the day. Mm. By the day, instead of the other way around, in, in, instead of the other way around, right? So, I mean, w w what do we do? Let's find out what we can do um, after the break. Don't go away. After all, this is Newsline. News first. News Paraz Shaukatali. And welcome back to Newsline. With this is with uh, Mr. Maitri Gunaratna, and we're, we're discussing the UNP leadership. Actually, be, before this, I should have posed this question to you first, so that we can just get set the record right. Why is the leadership crisis of a political party? Why is it become national news? For us, the reason is in a democracy, political parties play a vital role. Mm -hmm. For a democracy to uh, be vibrant, yeah. uh, there has to be two to three political parties or even more. Yes. So, and the UNP is has been synonymous with development, uh, has been synonymous with people having money, has been synonymous with foreign in, uh, investment. So, uh, that that is the that is the notion people have with regard to the UNP. And, and it is, it is uh, a party that appeals to the entrepreneurs of definitely, this country. Definitely. And if you examine our own record, uh, the record of this group, yes, <coughs> um, this group is representative of what the uh, United National Party stands, stands for, for in terms of uh, economic development. Yeah, so therefore for us, uh, it is the interest of every citizen uh, to see that uh, these parties are, you know, functioning well, mm. right? And and I feel, I feel, I mean, in a democracy, in a democracy, we must see to it that political parties are not allowed to be split mm. and 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 weakened, because that is that itself weakens the democratic process, mm. right? So therefore, I feel this has become national news, right? Because there is no opposition in this government, or there is no government in this government. Mm -hmm. that, that is that is the problem. But if now, we, now if when 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 the UNP sorry for us when yes. the UNP was in opposition, yes. there was no opposition. Would you agree with me? Yes. yes. There was no absolutely no opposition. Well, well yes. Right. Yes. The opposition came from the media. Yeah. Right. At now some, at some considerable cost. Cost. Yeah. Right. Now the UNP is in government. There is no governance. Yeah. Right. So now now again. Now again, it is the media which exposing various issues out. And, well, well, and, well, and do you know, I'm, I'm glad you're mentioning this because sometimes people say, what's your problem? Why you keep going on? Well, excuse me. This, public public money. Money. this is the public, public money. money. Public money. If we, didn't, if we didn't point out, we agree that the origin of the story was with the newspaper. Okay, the Sunday Times. But... Thereafter, when we started reporting it, we went into far greater depth and detail Definitely. and we encouraged people to put out and to whistle blow and so on. And it all led back to the Prime Minister because he was in charge of the subject of the Definitely. Central Bank. And if from a party point of view, from a party point of view, as the leader of that party, what, how disgraceful that he, he, he didn't act against the governor of the central bank. He could have just called for a file and found out in two seconds that the conflict of interest position had not been removed. No, Faraz, I don't, uh, what I'm saying is this, he was directly involved in this. I don't know why the, why the bond commission report has not seen it, right? If you take Faraz, he very cleverly manipulated that the subject of the central bank comes under him. He very cleverly manipulated that the EPF, ETF and the insurance funds come, come under him. Then uh, having done that, he brings in his own person from Singapore as the governor. 
having bought the governor this incident takes place within the first 100 days it is exposed then he appoints a commission committee consisting of three UNP lawyers to examine it they come and say that this is completely over there is nothing wrong with this above board then what happens then they continue with the whole process and in the pro uh, and in this process there there is a little bit of a busy bee and that in the form of a company or of a brand called news first yeah uh, which starts not only to report the news but to explain the news Sorry. and we've explained it and brought in experts and whistleblowers and so on and put together a whole package to explain to the country the depth of the bond scam the yeah. debt the, the 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 total liability to the people of this country not only totally that and so in that respect you know the the newspaper although it reported it the rest of the story oh, yes. Oh, yes. we we can say you carried it to a different the, level we carried it to a different, a different level. level we had politicians from all sorts oh, of definitely. hues and colors definitely. and everybody was given a chance, chance. we we sent a reporter every day the same reporter every day to the, the presidential board, commission board. to report it he's got about 13 or 14 notebooks we've got it covered and in spite of all that Rani Wickremesinghe continues to hang on to the, the the damage it's done to the party that's what I'm trying to get no, at no, not only that now now for us not only the party now with the with him winning the no confidence motion even the members of the UNP who are against it is indirectly responsible who have voted for him to save him is indirectly responsible for the debt this country has he has caused the loss uh, he has caused to this country right and, so, and much you know a lot of people think that these first do this and it doesn't impact upon us what complete tosh as a group there are, I think there are 27 companies in the group and it's very difficult indeed when one outfit within one part of that group which is news first when we continue these uh, to expose corruption to bring to try and hold peep those people who are responsible accountable it does impact on the rest of the group it oh, of definitely, course it definitely now for us i can i know I mean, as a political party, as a activist, I, we have been swimming against the current or swimming against the tide. It is one of the most difficult things to do for us. It's one of the most difficult things to do, right? Because because now, when you take when you take even the bond scan, right? We took up a stand. We we came from Candy, marched from Candy, right? asking and educating the public these are very tough things to do Indeed. so i can i can just imagine as a company which originally started as a business outfit yes right and has, has established a network of uh, business relationships when you start a media outfit and you expose the government in power or a political party which is powerful in power powerful you expose it I mean, it, 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 it becomes difficult. That is why the, all the incidents of uh, threats and uh, various things have been, uh, you know, and thrown we upon see, all. We see this chap who, who was outside our gates in, with, with a large crowd and who set off all sorts of incendiary uh, explosive devices yeah, yeah, yeah. and crackers and God knows what. We, we don't know that when we're seated here. All we know is that there's a whole lot of uh, smoke hooligans. and hooligans, uh, hooligans outside <laughs> and we, we've, we've learned our lessons in the past. Yeah. And then we see that same chap who was in front of our gates within moments later he's with seated the, like a no. jolly good fellow that he is not next to the Prime Minister Prime of this country. No, for us, I was and that man has, I mean, I, I don't know, he's not been reminded, he's not, nothing seems to for happen. For us, I, I was made to understand the Minister of Law and Order had come uh, for he a program. He was here this morning, I'd love uh, to know. Uh, uh, wasn't that question asked? I'm sure he was. As, as to why he was not arrested. I'm sure he was. As to why he's not arrested. You know, I mean, we believe it's a sanding, he, it's a sanding, it's like, now, now for us, now see, right, if the police is acting for on Kitsri Rajapaksa like this, yeah. Right? You can imagine what they would have done in Candy though, for the situation to escalate. Indeed. And, now, and what about if the police are acting like this? There is, it is little wonder that uh, the, the, the justice system 
is so blessed lopsided in this country that an agreement with the UAE government was signed in 2002 and then another one in 2009 and up to today this has not been ratified by the parliament of Sri Lanka and so therefore it is not law and the prime minister who designed everything and who is the master of ceremonies 41 years in parliament when they promised us good governance, yeah, my dear yeah, Gunratna, yeah, yeah. and they came in, the first thing they ought to have done was to ensure that the most urgent of these treaties were ratified when they had all the whole parliament gunning for good governance. That's, right. That's what they should have done. That. But no, they were not because they were too busy styling it out and robbing the central bank. Definitely. Definitely. I totally agree. Now, L about the crisis in the United National Party, he, he's appointed for P. He, he's shuffled it around. What real benefit? And he's managed to get his matey uh, Akhil Viraj in in, in as general party, secretary. As general secretary, that, that what his real name. difference is it going to make? There is no difference it's going to make. No, absolutely no difference. And how can the United National Party change? No, the the the, the people in the working committee, uh, the deputy leader, Mr. Sajid Premadasa. Mr. Ranjit Madhum Bandara, or there are senior people in the party for us. If they don't stand up and if they don't fight now, then there will never be a day for, the, for them to start stand up and fight. They'll have to go by whatever has been decided right now and take the party to its uh, graveyard. Um, very quickly, how do, how do the people who have a lot of sympathy, who have a lot of love and affection and who admire and believe in the real ideology of the United National Party. How can the party be regained? Well, under this leadership, you cannot regain the party. So you're saying uh, Rani Vikramasinghe must go? He has to go. There is no doubt about it. There is no way. So there is what, nothing about, what about these people in the working committee? Are they spineless? They are. I mean, if they are not acting for us, if they are not, uh, not acting, I, I saw Mr. Sajid Premadas' clip yesterday on TV. Yeah. Right now, he says that there was a committee which was appointed for to propose on and, and, and decide on re reorganization. Yeah. But he said that uh, the committee has only powers to suggest. Yeah. But the leader decides. So what's the point? What's the point? And, and they, there was also, there was also uh, he said that they are going to elect the office bearers. But even these office bearers which have been appointed yesterday have not been elected. He, they have been proposed by the party leader and they are accepting it. They are accepting it. So for us, if this is, if this is the manner in Why is Rani Vikram Singh so scared of a secret ba ballot? I don't think he should be scared of a secret ballot because uh, the, ba the, 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 the working committee is the group which will vote and decide. So, he, I, I, mean, I, 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 want, I want to finish this morning off, uh, this program off, by saying, uh, by reminding uh, everyone that the police, the Attorney General's Department and all the services should know that if anyone ever accuses them of doing any wrong, there will be one media station who will just take it on and come to their defense if they are in the right. Definitely. And that is, that, 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 that's the, us. No, that should be the... And, that. and, and uh, the five-star general, the lone five-star general in this country, is the best example. Yeah. How we came in, and remember, it was an oppressive regime. Definitely, definitely. And uh, it, it all went all out. All out. We. Normal people were unable to enter that hotel in Colombo because the army were checking every blessed thing before we got in. That was the level of intimidation. But News First carried on relentlessly. Yes, definitely. Definitely. You know, uh, we, we are unafraid, obviously, to be, uh, we're not afraid to be different. Uh, we've got the courage to be different. And uh, we believe in acting now. And no, we must what should the working committee what do these people if they are really committed to the ideals of the united national party if they have party at heart first what should they do they should speak to the leader in one voice and tell him sir please step down on uh, for the sake of the party that's all
On that note, Maestro Gerardo, thank you very much. You. The producer is going a bit haywire. Thank you very much. That's the end of the program. I'm so sorry we overran. But things get a bit interesting from time to time. Take care. God bless. Thanks. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.